like to welcome parents, grandparents, relatives, and guests to the commencement exercise at ECHS. This evening, to honor and recognize the class of 96. Mr. James Johnson. Again, we would like to uh, welcome each and every one that's come out, friends, family, parents, teachers, students, faculty, and our guests. We're very appreciative that you come out tonight to see us go to our final go around as Edison County High School students. To bid us farewell, but it's not a real farewell because we're still going to be hearing many things. The Lord has been good to us throughout our four years here at ECHS and the remainder of our school career. That is why I feel it is appropriate at this time. Jim, if you will remove your caps and if the crowd and graduating class would at this time bow their heads, we'll go for a long purpose. Heavenly Father, we bow before you tonight, Lord, to thank you, Father, for everything you provided us with throughout our school career and our high school career, Lord. Most of all, Lord, we thank you for the friends you've given us, Lord, the love that we felt with one another, Lord, the wonderful faculty that we've worked with throughout the past four years here, Lord, and our families you've provided us with, Lord, we have so much to be thankful for. We can never repay you. Watch over us and guide us, Lord, throughout the remainder of the ceremonies, Father, and watch with us as we go our separate ways. Hopefully one day, Lord, we can run into each other, Lord, and reminisce over the great memories that we've shared. Watch over us and guide us, Lord, until our next point in time together. We pray in your great morning name. Thank you. 
representing the Edmonton County Board of Education, Dr. Kevin Clinton. Mr. Tommy Ritter. Mr. Terrell Woosley. Mr. Ben Vincent. Mr. Leroy Moody. And now representing the Bank of Edmonton County, Ms. Jenny Ong. Thank you. 
This young man attended school every day, grades 7 through 12. Ellis Wayne Sowers. Keep their memory in their heart forever. 
complete the remainder of their families in prayer. This year's recipient is a very deserving person. I know she has come through a lot of things in her life already. This year's recipient is April 19th. Stacy Grammer, Senior Guidance Counselor. Several scholarships have been awarded to our seniors this year from institutions who are not represented here tonight. In their behalf, I would like to announce the following scholarships and ask the seniors whose names are called to stand and remain standing until I've concluded. Travis Parsley, Stephen Bruce Pretty. Travis and Bruce received the Governor's Kentucky Tech Scholarships to the Kentucky Advanced Technology Center in Bowling Green. This scholarship covers tuition, books, and all their class fees. They were honored with a luncheon in Frankfurt and an awards ceremony at the Governor's Mansion. Brandy Clark. Brandy received the J. Louis Harmon Educational Fund Scholarship from WKU for $600. Brandy Meredith. Brandy received a Regents Scholarship from Western Kentucky University, which covers tuition and is renewable for four years. Everett Simpson. Everett has received an Ogden scholarship from WKU worth $500 and the Southern Kentucky Community Action Agency scholarship worth $500. He also today found out that he received the Jackson Community Foundation Independent Life Scholarship for Leaders worth $2,000. Alicia Marr. Alicia received a Kentucky Scholarships, a Kentucky Scholars Scholarship from Western Kentucky University worth $1,100. Natalie Dole. Natalie also received a Kentucky Scholars Scholarship from WKU as well as receiving a Houchins Foundation Scholarship worth $500. Melissa Robin Sturgeon. Robin received a scholarship from the Western Kentucky University Department of Agriculture for the amount of $200. Hillary Vincent. Hillary received the Western Kentucky University Award of Excellence, which covers tuition, books, and her room, and is renewable for four years. She also received the Bowling Green Kentucky Walmart Scholarship worth $1,000. John Starnes. John received the Tennessee Walking Horse Association Scholarship worth $2,500. The Kentucky Walking Horse Association Scholarship worth $650. And a scholarship worth $2,000 from the University of Kentucky Agriculture Department. Let's give all these students a round of applause. Congratulations to all these award winners and to all of you, the class of 1996. It's been a pleasure to be your counselor for the past four years. Remember that I'm still here for you. Thank you.
This year, Salutatorian has been an active member in many clubs, such as Future Business Leaders of America, Future Farmers of America, SEEK, and 4-H Club. She has served as Secretary of VEDA, President of the Literary Club, President of the Future Homemakers of America, and Sergeant at Arms for Move Out and VEDA. She has also served on the Senior Activities Committee. She has received the Award of Excellent Scholarship from Western Kentucky University and the $1,000 Sam Walton Scholarship from Walmart. She has received the honors of Food Food among American high school students, Kentucky's Governor's Scholar, and All-American Scholar Awards. She has participated in the Powder Puff football game and in the Junior Senior Basketball game. Her future plans are to attend Western Kentucky University and then go on to law school. She hopes one day to become a Supreme Court Justice. She is the 17-year-old daughter of Royce and Dot Vincent of the Rody community. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce this year's salutatorian, Hillary Vincent.
largest Northern Bank Club in the France Club of Chicken He's also served as a member of the Senior Banking Committee and is a member of Sydney France Non Baptist Church. She's played on the Lady Cats basketball team for three years, on the Lady Cats softball team for four years. She's received the Kentucky Scholar and the Houses Market Foundation Scholarship. She received the honors of Who's Who on American High School Students, All American Scholar, 1995 and 1996 15th Edition Basketball Academic Award, and the 1995 and 1996 Class A Region Basketball Tournament Award winner. Her future plans are to get married on June 7th and attend Western Kentucky University in the fall. She's an 18 year old daughter of Gary and Brenda Doyle of the Rhodey Community. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce this year's valedictorian, Ms. Natalie K. Doyle. Any amount of money could ever buy. 
You have helped to mold me into the person I am today. Jason, in only six short days, we will begin the rest of our lives together. You are now the light of my life, and I know the years ahead will hold many happy and precious memories for us. I couldn't have found a better person to share my life with. To the teachers and administration at all the schools I've attended, I owe you a world of thanks. If it wasn't for your teaching skills, I could not be where I am today. You are great educators, but more than that, you are great friends. Finally, class of 96, where do I begin? Looking out upon me tonight, I can imagine those same heavy faces that once made up this class. We have grown up together from the small children we once were to the adults we are tonight. We have shared many memories that will always be special. Can you remember in elementary school how we used to look so forward to track and field day to see if it would be Brown's or Car Off that would come out on top? In middle school, dodgeball was the hottest thing going except for tight old jeans. And then in high school, it seems like we've been through it all. Powder puff games, spirit halls, winning district tournament in basketball, and going to state tournament in softball are only a few of the many small memories that makes our class special. As we embark on a new journey, may the Wildcat Tribe always be with each and every one of us to help us remember our heritage. May God bless each of you, and may all your dreams and wishes come true.
to specialize and to do the things that you're capable of doing best. Set goals. Set high goals. Never set goals that are easily attained. Set those goals that you have to struggle and strive to accomplish. When you set those kinds of goals, you will be the students of the future, the learning individuals of the future, the leaders of our future. Graduates, I challenge you to strive for the best, to set goals that are always challenging for yourselves, and to excel beyond the expectations of yourself and everyone around you. Congratulations to each and every one of you. May your future be one of peace, joy, and success. Congratulations, class. Mr. Kevin Jackson, guidance counselor. I want to draw your attention to our graduates. If you'll notice, some students are wearing cords around their necks. The red, white, and blue cords. These students are receiving an honors diploma. This is listed on the back of your program. Honor students have completed a special curriculum and have maintained a 3.4 grade point average throughout high school. The gold cords. These students are beta club members and have maintained a B average or better in high school. Powder blue cords. These students are members of Mu Alpha Theta, a mathematics honor society. They must have maintained a B average in at least three prep math classes. Also in your program, you will notice some students have an asterisk by their name. This signifies that they were a member of student government. And now I have the honor of presenting to you the class of 1996. Keith Cobb, 
Jennifer Marie Copas. Joy Lynette Cowles. Brian Keith Davis. Kevin R. Davis. Matthew Lee Davis. Melissa Jean Davis. Pamela Joe Davis. Shauna Lee Davis. Summer Jean Denton. Jennifer Malia Dickens. <laughs> Natalie K. Dole. Darren Robert Durbin. Jessica Ann Durbin. George Oscar Eubank. Joseph Allen Fields. Lorna Dawn Garner. Daniel LaJoyce Goen. Stacy Lynette Gray. Amberly Brooke Briggs. Jennifer Carol Harden. Michelle Ann Harrison. Jennifer Michelle Hayes. Lindsay Marie Hayes. April Meredith Pinion. Jody Dale Harrell. <laughs> Jeremiah Quentin Hodges. <laughs> David Richard Hogan. <laughs> Nail Lisa Delane Hogan. <laughs> Stacy. Ann Hogan. Joshua Lynn Howard. 
Elizabeth Renee Jagger. Jason Micah Jagger. Jason Allen Jenkins. James Howard Johnson. Erica Lee Lindsay. Jennifer Lynn Sanders Lindsay. Brent A. Lindsay. Jeremy Dexter Logan. Alicia Dawn Marr. Autumn Renee Meredith. Brandy Renee Meredith. Donald Edward Meredith. Stephanie Renee Meredith.
Jamie Michelle Hoopery. Michael James Wolf. Jason Delee Wolf. Lindsay Renee York.
of June the 1st, 6 p.m. It's happening. It's time for you to move on to that other level. And the staff of Edison County High School want you to have a successful and happy life. With the senior class of 96, please stand. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the class of 96. <laughs> <laughs>